amidst the ongoing war in Ukraine, the geopolitics of Europe is undergoing a major churn, with the formerly neutral nations such as Finland and Sweden now seeking to join the Western Military Alliance. The reports suggest that Finland will be announcing its bid to join the NATO Military Alliance practically as early as today, while Sweden is likely to make the announcement sometime on Sunday or before the end of this week. Now, according to reports that have emerged, NATO is likely to expedite the approval of the membership bill of these two Nordic nations, and it is likely to be approved by the upcoming Madrid summit. But it will take still one more year to ratify their membership period, and during this, the Allies will provide an increased true presence in the Nordic region. They'll also be holding more military exercises and naval patrolling in the Baltic Sea and possibly rotate the US and British forces through Finland and Sweden. Finland and Sweden will not benefit from NATO's collective defence clause that an attack on one ally is tantamount an attack on all NATO military allies until the parliaments of all 30 member states have ratified the decision. Currently, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are already part of this Western military alliance led by the United States. With the approval of Sweden and Finland, Finland's membership, all eight countries of the Northern and the Baltic Belt will be a part of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Now, according to reports, NATO might not wait for the Madrid summit to approve the membership bids and might approve the same ahead of the summit, which could be held by the end of June this year. The two countries face opposition from Russia that has already warned them against joining the military alliance. The reports suggest that Moscow could in fact announce that it was moving missiles and other weapons and armor closer to its border with Finland. The Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peshkov in a statement has said and I quote him here, we observe everything that is connected with actions that are capable of somehow changing the configuration of the alliance near our borders in the most attentive of ways, adding that this is a subject for very careful analysis. For now, we can't say any more. Now, amidst this threat from the Russian, from Russia, Western nations have now assured Finland and Sweden. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has signed a mutual security pact with Finland and Sweden during his trip to the Nordic nations. He's also pledged support against potential Russian threats. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson did not detail if the agreement will include deploying troops and nuclear weapons to the countries, but he said that the nature of assistance will depend on the request by these two nations. Johnson has also clarified that NATO, interestingly, according to the West, still remains a defensive alliance, despite the fact that it has been inching closer to the borders of Russia. NATO is a defensive alliance. NATO poses, NATO, uh, poses no threat uh, to anyone. It is there uh, for the purposes of mutual uh, defense. So Stockholm and Helsinki already share very close ties with London and are a part of the Joint Expeditionary Force, which is a multinational military alliance for the security of the North Atlantic High North and the Baltic Sea region. The Swedish Prime Minister emphasized the need for increased international cooperation during the crisis after signing the pact. In times of crisis, cooperation becomes even more important and this applies not least for our international defense partnerships. Meanwhile, the Finnish president has blamed the Russian attack in Ukraine as the leading cause for the decision for Finland to abandon its neutrality and directly join a military alliance, adding that the move was in the interest of the national security of, of the country rather than against any other nation. What happened in 24th February, which continues the huge warfare Russia is uh, having in Ukraine, surely that changed also the picture. They are ready to attack a neighboring country. Mm. So, when you ask uh, whether, whether <clears throat> what they, how they see a possible Finnish joining 
uh, well, if that would be the case that we join, well, my response would be that you caused this. Look at the mirror. For us, uh, joining NATO would be not against anybody. We would like to maximize, maximize our security in way or another. Now, the United States and Germany have also pledged support to the two Nordic nations in case of any aggression by Moscow, as the Ukrainian crisis continues for the third straight month. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.